Hey guys, this is Austin with the car scene, and today I have the brand new fifth generation 2023 Prius XLE, and I'm going to give you an in depth, full, detailed walk around tour with all the features, benefits, and Easter eggs on this vehicle. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right guys, so starting with the outside of this vehicle, you can see that it's right here in this beautiful blue color. Looks absolutely astonishing. You can see Toyota went absolutely crazy with the style on this vehicle in terms of just styling it as good as they can, making it as good to look at, as attractive as they can. The only way that I know how to describe it is a spaceship. This thing looks absolutely astonishing from every single angle, which I'm gonna give you guys a nice slow pan around the exterior so that you guys can see everything that this car has to offer. There's actually a really great metallic flake that I'm catching right down here. At least I can see it in person, but it looks really astonishing. You'll notice the wheel arches just magnify the size of those wheels. They're already 19 inch wheels very large for a car of this class and then of course you've got the wheel arches just magnifying the look of those wheels you'll notice around the front of the vehicle you've got these really great looking c-shaped daytime running lights along with those huge projector beam led headlights i'll start up here with the front end styling real quick you can see your nice big bold toyota badge right there in the middle as well as your led lights right there along the edge and then of course you've got your radar cruise control sensor just below the toyota emblem and then your park sensors all along the front you do have these led fog lights down below as well as this really great finished sparkly looking almost steel look on the vehicle looking at your wheels and tires like i said they're 19 inch rims but the tires are really really thin to provide you the absolute maximum in terms of efficiency when you're going down the highway you have all these really cool looking little aerodynamic touches all over the car these nice big flat pieces this swooping roof line that's really really low completely a departure from the last generation prius you'll notice probably the apex of this car is three quarters of the way back making it a very different looking vehicle you've got a little fin along the top there no rear door handles on this edition of the prius just to make it that much more sleek that much more cool looking and then on the back you've almost got this flying buttress rear end that looks just completely different from anything we've seen from toyota in the past this really is a different looking vehicle you'll notice the swooping line all the way along the back and then of course your fuel door is locked so you can't push and open it you do have the little mud flaps on here to keep you from slinging any dirt or anything up little reflectors down at the bottom with your reverse lights as well as your brake light and your turn signal right there along the back notice this little shelf here with some aerodynamic little touches there that look really cool and then of course full leds blacked out prius badge along the bottom backup camera right here this is the it says door handle on it door handle there for you so that you can get into the back and then of course parking sensors along the rear as well this is your hybrid electric vehicle badge it has this really cool look to it especially in the sun here making it super shiny and then the matte black xle badge let's climb into the back of this car and see what it has to offer now one really cool note i wanted to push up point out is that this prius badge right here is embedded in the defrost feature so like i said they went all out with easter eggs on this vehicle anywhere that they could put something cool they did prime example is right here hybrid reborn right there on the back tail light there's actually another one it says since 1997 behind the license plate tag really great easter eggs there toyota cargo net back here as part of the gst uh distributor options and of course big storage areas on each side here you got your front license plate bracket that also says hybrid reborn on it dig into that yet just because that's the owners to dig into and then over here you've got a little box which is where they keep your 12 volt battery so you can see that battery right there it's a small little battery it looks like almost a garden tractor battery in terms of size i don't know what the cold cranking amps or anything are on that i'm sure you can google it if you'd like to know opening this up you've got all of your storage areas underneath you could probably put first aid kits jumper cables uh pretty much anything that you want to put on there extra clothes I am curious if they put anything underneath. I can't actually do it because there's pop clips here. Don't want to break those. Like I said, it's a brand new car. 
and you have this folding privacy thing. Uh, it's a privacy cover, but then it also has these ropes up here. You can take that out if you want to haul taller items, but basically when you shut the top of this, nobody can see your stuff, so that's the advantage of it being there. Climbing into the back, you've got these really interesting door handles here. And I'll show you guys the, you can see it does say solar UV right there in the window. Climbing inside, you can see the door shape. It's a really good shape. You've got soft touch at the elbow, a kind of different colored ash plastic up top, little sto uh, storage area there or a grab handle, water bottle holder that's mounted sideways and a speaker grill, as well as the nice door seal protector. And then of course you'll notice the full black interior with soft techs. You do have latch points for car seats back here on the two most outboard seats, as well as seat belts. And these do, of course, fold down for more storage if you wanted to lay big items through the trunk. I guess it's not really a trunk. This is more of a hatchback. You've got two USBs down below, as well as storage on the seat back there. And then you do have the fold down armrest that flips down. It does have two cup holders inside of it. A really nice touch. Now giving you a quick view on the interior, this does have the 8 inch display. You can also option the 12.3 inch display that we saw on the Crown yesterday. This one does have the integrated uh, dash cam for when you're driving. It also has passive entry so you can lock and unlock the doors. This one is as well digital uh, option with the digital key feature which means you can use your phone as the key. Opening up the door, same style that we had in the front with the ash style top and the black down below. Of course power mirrors, power door locks, power windows, and then the window lockout for the rear windows. And then of course the bottle opener or bottle holder as well. You'll notice your nice Prius badge here. And then a really cool uh, little thing that they did here is this is to stiffen up the chassis that slides into there, stiffens up the whole chassis when the door is closed. Makes the car a lot more sturdy and feel a lot better going down the road. That's a uh, old race car trick that Subaru did with the WRX in the early 2000s. Uh, looking at the inside, starting with the buttons, you've got your automatic high beams, your windshield defrost. This actually has a defroster that goes along the bottom of the wipers, just like the crown head that we looked at yesterday. It'll actually defrost the ice holding the wipers to the glass so that they don't get damaged. You'll also notice your heated steering wheel, as well as the button for your fuel door, and then of course your hood release, which will pop real quick. You can see the buttons there for your odometer trip. This is a fun thing about Toyotas. People don't know how to get back to their odometer when they lose it. This little button here will take you right back to your odometer. And then of course you've got your bright brightness buttons right there. Your light stock with your turn signals on it as well. And then of course your wipers. This one is equipped with automatic wipers. So I just left it on auto for this customer. Um, if they ever need to change it, they can. And then of course you've got buttons right here on the steering wheel. You can go between the different pages here. You can use this D-pad here. And then of course you've got the volume button, the voice command button, and then all your, your cruise control functions here as well. This will go back and forth between your presets and then mode will take you between AM, FM, satellite, and Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Push button start is right there. Your screens are up here. I'll give you a quick look at all the different screens. You have a fuel economy screen, you have a driver's assistance screen, a music screen, a trip screen, a setting screen, an alert screen, and then back up to the uh, economy screen. And you can scroll through different screens to see exactly what your economy is. This is the new eight inch uh, Toyota multimedia, which allows you to sync your profile and save your presets as well as your setting preferences and move from car to car, which is extremely helpful. Because of that digital key feature, you also don't need the actual physical key. You can use the Bluetooth from your phone as your key. It's a really nice feature. You notice air vents down below that. It does say Prius right here in that black plastic. And then it does have that really nice chrome trim, similar to what we saw on the Crown yesterday as well. Hazards are right in the middle. You do have heated seats as well as fully automatic single zone climate. Below that, we do have two USBs and a 12 volt as well as a little area to store stuff, but really neat. Push this, pops right up, and it says hashtag hidden compartment. There are hashtags and Easter eggs all over this car, and that is just one of the fun ones. You've got two cup holders, your typical Prius shifter that's all electronic, which means you have to put your foot on the brake, push to the left, pull back for drive, or push forward for reverse. And then if you need park, park is right there. Don't get confused though, because this is your parking brake completely separate. Drive modes, EV mode, auto brake hold, and track control. To the right of that, you've got your wireless phone charger. And in fact, it says wireless charger on it, which is extremely handy. Popping this armrest up first, let me show you the top of it. It's all leather. Popping it open, you've got two USBs and a little carpeted mat in there. And then some really cool textures on the dash that I wanted to show you. This whole 
shelf here is like a faux carbon fiber look and it has this nice blue accent light behind it that looks really great. You do have all of your Prius books as well as your paint renewal and your connectivity kit in here as well. And then you'll also notice right here, there's a little power button. So if you wanted to turn your wireless charger off, you can nice and easily. Up top, you do have your mirror. It is just a regular fixed mirror and it does have home link garage door opener there as well. I notice these touch capacitive buttons for the interior lights. You can turn them all on. You can turn the door one on and then you have your SOS button along with your switches for your passenger airbag and other things. Up here, you've got your sun visor with a little area to store business cards. This pops open. When you pop it open, the light comes on. Super, super handy. But yeah, just a really great interior. And here I'll show you the window sticker real quick while we're here. You can see this is of course the 2023 Toyota Prius XLE in reservoir blue. You can see it was built in Japan and all the parts are from Japan. Your fuel economy information is there. Safety ratings are not out yet. However, we do expect this vehicle to be very, very safe. And then of course, all of your features, options, all of that stuff. And then over here, we've got our distributor options, bringing you to a grand total of $34,100. This one is being sold at MSRP with no markup. And we'll pop the hood next and show you the powertrain on this vehicle. does come with a 20-year, 200,000-mile powertrain warranty, as well as a, uh, oil changes and inspection stickers for life, so this owner should never have to pay for an oil change, provided they just bring it to our dealer. You can see here, here is your motor. It is a 1.6-liter, naturally aspirated motor. And then you have a ECBT to the right that provides you with a 196 total horsepower. There is also a fun little Easter egg right here that says Hybrid Reborn. And of course, I'll show you all of your stickers. It just tells you that your battery is in the trunk. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If there's anything I missed, I'm sure you guys will leave those in the comments too. Thank you guys for watching. If you're enjoying the video, if you're enjoying the channel, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what cars you want me to have on the channel next. I do have Toyota vehicles as well as Ford vehicles here, so feel free to shoot me anything within those product lines, and I'll try and get them here for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and have an absolutely amazing day.